For this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the pool and the pool decking tools together with some of our other smart tools to create dynamic custom pool designs. We have a number of options available to you for making your pool, so let's get right into it. First, you're going to want to draw the shape of your pool decking. Click on the Water Features tab, then click on the Pool Decking tool. This will allow you to add points on the grid, create a closed shape, which will create your pool decking object. Pool decking objects will contain pools within your scene, letting you build them into hardscape designs. Next, you're going to draw the shape of your pool on top of the pool decking. Click on the pool tool, then click on the grid to add points. Closing the shape will create the pool itself. As long as the pool is completely inside the pool decking, it will build the pool inside of it, basically cutting the pool into it. Now that the pool is in the scene, you can begin configuring the pool and the pool decking properties to finalize the look of your pool. Now, pool decking configuration works exactly like configuring a patio, so we're not going to get too far into that into this tutorial. For this, you can follow the steps that you learned in the patio tool tutorial to set this one up quickly. The pool itself contains a number of unique options that are worth taking note of. In addition to a pool material, there is a tile material as well that's applied to the mouth of the pool that can be toggled on and off. This can also be sized so that you can create multiple rows of tiles if you'd like. Pools have their own coping controls on a separate tab. These coping controls and materials should work exactly as they do on a patio. The depth attribute and the depth profile can be used to set up deep and shallow ends on your pool floor. The depth profile itself is actually a fairly complex tool and can be used to create some interesting shaping for the floor of your pool. For more advanced users, the water tab will give you some additional control over the water visuals that are available to you on premium accounts. Once you've finished configuring your pool, there are a number of additional smart tools and accessories that you can use to further enhance and finalize your pool designs. In addition to the depth profile, you can use pool steps and pool seating to build complex structures on the floor of your pool. Pool lighting can be added to give your pool dynamic nighttime lighting effects, and even turn your pool into a nighttime light source itself. Waterfalls can be drawn and positioned to pour into pools, generating dynamic ripple effects on the water surface. Finally, pool accessories can be used to add some finishing touches to your pool's overall appearance and design. We hope this tutorial has been helpful in getting you started with the pool tool and all of its companion tools and accessories. If you still have some questions or would like some more advanced tips on how to use the pool tool, check out our help documentation or feel free to browse some of the template designs that we have available for you on visionscape.com.